because on the only person that really understands me is myself. So Definitely. I learned that, but like, like I try to, I always get like, not like upset or like mad when someone doesn't understand me. And I realize like people just really don't care like that or mm. just really want to understand you mm. in that whole. So it's okay. it's whatever at this point. All right. All right. All right. Well, I'm a, this, this is this is something this is a particular like follow up question. That I'm going to try to get used to saying mm -hmm. <clears throat> because like I know sometimes whenever like I'm having a conversation with folks like like that, that is a, a, a good profound point that, that you made. And I know that there are times where I'll make the same point, mm -hmm. but there's like there, it, it's, it almost feels like an injustice is being made or I'm not going to say an injustice is being made, but it almost feels like, say, there's still more to say or more to get off the chest oh, yeah. but just making just the 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 general point so what i'm gonna ask now is this now i'm gonna try and pry into you know those examples so like so i know it might be hard because there's so many different times and and shoot for these time these instances that you're talking about mm -hmm. listen I, i've witnessed some of them but just just point one example out example <clears throat> um i feel like like I don't know, like, if I, ex like, express, like, oh, like, I don't like this, and I don't, the reason why I do this is because I, that's how I grew up. Hmm. They kind of, like, they're listening to me, like, you know how you have people listening to you, but they don't understand, is hmm. what I'm trying to say. Like, I could tell people, like, oh, yes, this is, um, this is how I am, and this, the reason why I'm mad, because I care, or, like, Oh, the reason why I do this is because there I need to know what this is. Or yeah. like if someone like if I'm the type I'm the type to ask questions. Like if you um tell me something and I'm asking questions after questions after question, I'm trying to understand you. Mm -hmm. But people don't really do that with me. And if they do that with me, they still don't understand. So <laughs> like <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I just I got to that point in my life where I don't really have to explain anything to anyone because you're not gonna understand anyways. So like, Jeez that's how I see it as. So there's no, there's no point. Jeez. Pardon, pardon me with the silence because I now at this point I'm trying to follow up off of that. Mm -hmm. um, I think lots of time, like it, it sort of kind of reminds me of like what the the typical tendency is. Like say for instance, like when arguing, folks aren't really listening to. Um, they're not really listening to listen, but they're listening to respond. If that makes sense, mm -hmm. um, or I, hell, I, I just I'm you beautifully put it about how okay they like they may be listening. Okay, like if if I if I told them, hey, repeat back to me what I just said, they could tell me what I said. Mm -hmm. But in terms of okay, that's what said. What does it actually mean? Yeah, I I, I got that part about them not even. I guess no, no, no. Pause. I guess this, even with that, it's it's not. They may even they may be able to tell you what it means, but yeah. they may not be able to, to. What's it called? Like, oh shoot! I've now feel. Oh, like I felt that same way before, or like because I think a lot of the the situation, or like just a lot of points that that you know say come up in conversations. Like yeah. people can relate to it. People just don't know what situation like. I guess people don't know that they felt like that before. What things to come? I know I'm I'm all over the place with this particular point, but like, mm -hmm. like I think they don't. I, okay, okay, my fault. I'm gonna bring it back. The, I guess where I was trying to go with with what I was saying was one thing that I noticed when people are talking and say whenever people have issues mm -hmm. um, is let's say like two two folks right one person comes up they've got an issue they're going on they're talking about oh yeah I feel this way about this blase blase and then mm -hmm. the other person's like oh well you know like you know whether they say it to the person with the issue or or not they're like oh yeah that person's just complaining blase blase yada 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 Re like regardless of what the issue is and you know all that and and they'll you know the other person will be like oh they're, they're just complaining about this uh but what i think i found with people is that people 
don't necessarily take into account the fact that like at at some point in time whether it be definitely in the past and definitely it's going to come in the future like you felt that same way before oh, yeah. granted maybe the same exact thing that happened to them may not happen to you or let's say the extent to which they're going about and expressing how they feel about that particular you know about what just happened maybe that's different for for you there, there may be a whole lot of you know differences within you know the situations but at the core foundation there is enough i guess enough similarities there mm -hmm. uh, enough of, of the same pieces there to where you should be able i feel like folks should be more understanding of what's going on oh yeah definitely because so. i just feel like People will out. hear you. They they're gonna hear you. They're listening to you. Yeah. But someone that understands what you are saying, what's coming out of your mouth. Yeah. And like just re relating to it and just like, like fully on you. No, you don't really see that. Then people will just they'll hear you be like, oh yeah, uh huh. Oh yeah, you you like cheese? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but like you over here having a deep conversation about how much you love cheese and why it has to do something with your childhood and and all that, and they're like, oh yeah, you like cheese. I I remember that. Like you know what I mean? Like and they, <laughs> it's, it's not it's not on a deep level. Like people don't understand on a deep level. I was like, oh yeah, I get I get I get you like cheese. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then and then have the nerve to come back and be like, they fucking yo, they're fucking weird. They like cheese. <laughs> like what the? And it's like and it's like, bro, like. You, you get mad at them for like a cheese, but like, bro, like you like you like relish, like, and and, and you have your own reasons for why you like relish. So, you know, okay, I, I I get you on that. I get you on that. You know what? I, and and y'all, again, I know that we're right now talking about this particular question again. What do people misunderstand the most about you? Man, I'm going to go through, I'm going to try to get the engagement up because, yo, these folk, like, yo, we want to hear what you guys think, right? Whether it be about what it is that we said, whether it be about, you know, even even about your own thoughts coming into the question. We, we still want to know. We still want to know what the people think. So I'm going I'm to do my best to make sure that I get some polls out and, and you know, pose the same questions to y'all. Uh, but the next question, right? Tell us your darkest secrets. I'm done. <laughs> Yo, my dog said, tell us your darkest secrets, bro. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to say, because there really is a lot of questions. Um, you know what? I'm, and from this section right here, and which, by the way, I didn't even shout out where we got the questions from. Big shout outs to Riverside FM, because they were where we got like 40, 50 something questions. We won't go through all of them. You know, again, we be here all day. But uh, the next question that I wanted to ask you is this. What's your favorite childhood memory? And I, I, actually, actually, before I even ask you that question, I'm gonna ask you this, right? Like, yeah. what do you consider childhood? Like, what, like, what years or whichever? Hmm. I would say, like, 2008. 2008. To 2000, whatever. So, like, I don't know, like, oh, God. to like 12. I don't know, something like that. Jeez. Okay. Okay. My childhood memory, my favorite childhood memories. Um, not gonna lie, I don't really have that much childhood yeah. memories. Um, I all I can say is me watching TV in my room and watching Disney Channel. Jeez. Just watching Hannah Montana. Just watching Wizards of Waverly Place. That those were good times where I felt like good. I mean, I would eat the Dorginos. Pizza, put that, put that damn pizza in the damn oven. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not delivery. It's Giorno. <laughs> literally. Literally. Yo. You know, on a side note, listen, I'm going to give a shout out to, to uh, this YouTube content creator. His name is IMAP. I used to watch, you want to talk about childhood. He, <laughs> I used to watch his content all the time. But I think, damn, I, for, I think it was like one of the series he um, was playing like, 
it was something football. It may have been, damn, I forget what damn old game it was on on PlayStation. But like, I remember he he ended up flipping it, and I thought it was the the funniest thing in the world. He's like, it's not. He's like, it's not the journal. It's delivery or some shit like that. I, I I forget why it was like I don't know. Some something good happened on the play. I don't know. Like maybe a player, his last name was delivery or some shit. I don't know. I don't fucking. I don't know. But I, that that's where my mind went. But again, back to this. What's your favorite?